Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm here today to show you how to make this adorable poppy hello card. And uh, we're going to use some products that are retiring. Right now it's April 2022 and some of our items are retiring. Um, to make way for the brand new catalog. And so I want to show you a few of those items that are retiring, but they're still available. We've been selling out very quickly. And so um, when I show you something, if you like it, you can shop in my, in my online store. And the um, information about that is right below the YouTube video. Now I do want to mention that we're getting this beautiful new annual catalog, Stampin' Up! annual catalog, uh, 2000, May 2022 to April 2023. It goes live on May 3rd, 2022. So if you are not my regular customer and you don't have another demonstrator and you would like an annual catalog, please email me at peggy at prettypapercards.com and let me know your shipping address and I'll get a catalog out to you right away. Okay, let's see how to make this darling card. Now today we're gonna to use a couple of things. Let's see what we're going to use. We're going to use, first of all, for the sentiment, the Biggest Wish stamp set. This stamp set is not retiring and I just love it. You can do so much with it. And today we're just gonna use that little word, hello, from the Biggest Wish stamp set. We're also going to be using one retiring die set that I love. This is, has been my favorite die set for several years, and some of the dies from here are missing because we're gonna, I got them out because we're gonna use them here today. Um, this is the Stitch So Sweetly die set, and it is, it's just fabulous. If you don't have it, be sure to snap it up before it's gone because these label dies are I just can't even tell you how much I've used them. And then there are all these rectangles that are scalloped and stitched. Everything is stitched. These are scalloped and stitched. Absolutely beautiful. And then we're going to use the Poppy Moments dies. These are not retiring. And I've got some out that we're going to use. It's a beautiful die set. So let's get started. Here's our card base. Um, our normal card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And let's just score that. Get my bone fold. Uh, it is scored. We're going to just fold it and burnish the center. And then one thing I'm using today that is also retiring that I love is the Pattern Party Designer Series Paper. This is a designer series paper that you can get with an order of $150 or more, $150 or more, um, in my online store. Or if you have several friends and all of you, um, all of your orders can, you know, equal $150 or more. And then you can choose this um, as one of your, uh, with your rewards that you get. Um, you can email me if you're interested about that, Peggy at prettypapercards.com, and I'll help you figure that out. I think I'll turn this over like that, and now this piece, whoops, it's not cut quite right. I thought it was cut right. Okay. Well, we can always um, fix that. It's supposed to be cut at four by five and a quarter, and so I think I must have cut it at five and a half. So we'll just snip that off. And I think the glue is probably still workable, so we're just going to put that right on there like that. It's a quarter of an inch in. And then we have a piece. Um, uh, this is all from the same designer series paper, and this is four by three. And this is going to be really the background for our poppy flower. So we're just going to put this right down here like this. Let's raise it up a little bit. We're going to put the flower and have all the activity down in here. So now the background to our card is ready to go. And now we're going to do a little bit of die cutting. Let's go ahead and make a poppy. So for our poppy, we're going to use Blushing Bride cardstock. We're going to use Calypso Coral cardstock. And we're going to use um, Daffodil Delight cardstock. And we're going to cut the dies with our fabulous mini uh, 
stamp and cut and emboss machine. I call it my the mini boss. I just love it. And these dies all fit through there. So let's start with the main whoops, the, the main poppy. This is the full poppy. And then the next die gives a little fun outline to it. So we're just going to run this through our little machine. Let's, you gotta, you've got to alternate your, um, your pads there. And we'll just run that little guy through. And this is the main flower that is the background for the rest of the flower. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and do the outline, and I'm going to show you how these dies work. They're really, really cool. And it looks so pretty when you have contrasting colors. It really looks nice. So again, this is Blushing Bride cardstock. And you know with Stampin' Up, all the inks, if you choose a color like Calypso Coral or Blushing Bride, they're... There's cardstock, there's ribbon, there's a duck, um, ink, everything coordinates. Stampin' blends, alcohol markers. That is the fabulous thing that I love about Stampin' Up. So let's see how this little outline looks now. Here it is. And I'm just going to take a little piercing tool and just do a little bit of um, poke through those holes to kind of release this little outline piece because it is a bit delicate. Whoops. And let's just see how this, let me show you how this lines up. Um, just like that. Isn't that so cute the way that that gives such, it just brings that flower to life, doesn't it? It's so beautiful. And now we're going to make the center of the flower. And we have dies for the center. There are two dies to make the yellow center. Well, I'm using yellow. You could use any color you like. And here are the two. You could use black. That would look good too. And here are the little dies. And we're going to run these through. And I'm going to show you how fun this is going to be because we're going to really create a fun center for our dyes, for our flower. And so let's just get, if I've used, I've been using this a lot today. I've been making several flowers. They are so, so pretty. So we want to get the paper to release there. There we go. There's one little piece. And here is the other piece. And the way they work together is just amazing. I just love the way these work together to create a really, a really fabulous inside of the flower. So here's our flower again. Let's pull that over. And we're going to adhere these together here in a minute. But first, you see these two different pieces. I'm going to go ahead and put you, anything that has a rounded end um, just to pull that up and form a little, bring it up so that all the little ends show cute like that. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. And we're just going to form that right around so it kind of wraps right around that. And then it sits right inside like that. Isn't that cute? And we're just going to put a few dots of glue in here. I'm going to just put a couple of dots right in there. Maybe one dot. I think that should do it. And then we'll put this little bitty piece right inside on that. And we'll just let that sit there for a few minutes while it dries. And in the meantime, we're going to adhere um, this dimensional kind of piece to the base. Now first of all we're going to take our bone folder and we're going to round these petals over our finger between my thumb and the bone folder. We're just going to roll them up a little bit because that's going to give some real character to our poppy. So we're just rolling them up and let's see, let's give this one a little more rolling. Okay, like that. And then what we're 
we're going to do also is we're going to roll these little center pieces, this little center, just the tiniest bit. You have to be very gentle and not pull too hard because um, you could pull the paper off. But we're just going to lightly roll that up. This is the way you get your flower to look more real. Okay, so now let's get our let's get it going on the right place where it goes. I think right there. Yep. And you see now it's going to be a little bit looser. It's not going to lay down flat, and that's okay because that's what gives it the beautiful dimension. So we're going to take um, some regular size Stampin' Dimensionals. We're going to use two of them on the back here. Make sure it doesn't show through the front. And here's the second one. And we'll just take those little papers off and then we're going to layer this right over. Let's make sure we get it lined up right again. Here we go. And we line it up just right and press down. And there is our pretty flower. And you see how alive that looks? Doesn't it look just way dimensional, really pretty? Now we've got our beautiful center. And we're just going to go ahead and glue that right on the center of our poppy. Just right in there. Just going to let that sit in there for a few minutes. When that dies, we're going to put um, a black matte dot in the center there. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I have um, a piece of another piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock, and here is that Stitch So Sweetly die, one of them that I told you about. And we're going to use the Hello Stamp from the Biggest Wish stamp set. And we're just going to ink that up in some Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And with the photopolymer or clear stamps, it's real easy to see there that when it's all inked nicely. And so I'm just gonna stamp that on. Isn't that black pretty on the yellow? Oh, I love it. Okay, and now we're going to pull back our little stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we're going to go ahead and cut this sentiment out. Just like that. Okay, we're going to run that through. And I'll show you why I love these. Uh, stitch so sweetly dies so much. Look at how cute that is right there. These the little small scallop and the stitching so pretty. Okay, now here is our card base, and I'm not going to adhere that yet. First, we're going to get a little black and white uh, baker's twine, and this is from the Playful Pets Trim Combo Pack. And this is retiring. So if you like this, um, this baker's twine, make sure to snap some up before May 3rd. It will end on May 2nd the, when it's available. And, and if, if it sells out first, it's while supplies last. So we need to be careful about that. Okay, so we're just going to wrap this around. And we see that both ends are coming down to about this area. And so that's kind of how we want it to be, just like that. That looks pretty good. That's about how we want it. Right there, let's go like that. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is actually put a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals right on there to adhere that and to keep those little pieces right where I want them. And now we're ready to put our flower on, our pansy. We can pull this little, that's a little stray piece right there. Let's just tuck that up in there. Okay. And maybe for these, let's see. Okay, there's our pansy. So 
So I'm going to put a little another stamp and dimensional right up in this area to try to adhere that because they're going to the pansy is going to go on top of it and that is a good thing. It helps uh, keep the twine in place and it also adheres our pansy and so it's kind of like does double work here. And I think we're definitely going to need a dimensional up in this area. Let's see, where was I thinking? Let me put this down again. Yeah, right up in here. And you see, as you build the height, we, we're putting stamp and dimensionals to build the height of the flower. And then we put a stamp to some stamp and dimensionals under there. So the entire thing is built up and we can just pull those up a little bit. Isn't that just pretty? Then we're ready for our sentiment to be tucked in there. We can just tuck it right in there. And I think actually this time, rather than using dimensionals, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that down because I just want it to tuck up in there. Isn't that just cute? Alrighty, now we're ready to put on our matte black dots. So let's see. Now there are several sizes, the very big, and it looks like some medium and small. Maybe they're all small, I'm not sure. We're gonna take the very big, one of the very big ones, and we're gonna put this right in the center of the flower. It's gonna bring that flower to life, that poppy. Doesn't it do that? Doesn't that just look so good? Then we'll put a small one on top of the hello like this. And I'm kind of thinking we might put a few little wayward ones to take up a little of the space up here. Kind of like that. And maybe one up in here. Doesn't that make that card really cute? I love it. And now what I wanted to show you is how to um, line the flap of an envelope and that is going to go perfectly with our card so I'm going to open my envelope like that I'm going to put some glue all around here about between an eighth and a quarter of an inch back from the edge because you know the minute we lay our paper down on it it's going to spread and we don't want it to spread out so let's see, we could put just a little bit in there. We don't need a lot of glue, just on the edges. And this is six inches by two and a half. And then we just lay, match it right up to the edge of the envelope, right up to the fold. And sometimes you can't see, so that's good. We can pull it right up to the fold. Okay, and then we'll press down. And then all we do is turn it over and we're going to go ahead and trim just the tiniest, tiniest bit inside the edge of the envelope flap itself because this ensures that the, that the paper and the envelope flap are exactly the same. You don't have any overlap or anything. And so we're just going to just, I mean, not even an eighth of an inch, just the tiniest, tiniest bit, just like that. And there's our pretty envelope. Oops, there's a, we've got a little tiny thing we're going to punch out. Okay, there we go. Isn't that the prettiest card? You know, I want to thank you so much for stopping by today and watching my video. <clears throat> if you would like to order any of these products, I would love for you to go to my online shop. The address is right there next to, right um, below the YouTube video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe so that you get every post that I make. And I hope you've enjoyed our project today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.